right in here, this is our bone. So you've got kind of the spine or part of the vertebrae sticking up here. These are some of the tools that we actually made for this trip. We've got chopsticks that we filed down into a wedge. So it works kind of like a screwdriver, but because it's bamboo, um, we're less likely to injure the bone if we come across it. And the other is a bamboo trowel. So we took some pieces of really large bamboo, cut them in half, and then filed them down so we've got this nice, sharp surface. And then the other standard field tool is a paintbrush. So use the bamboo, dig through it in big chunks, and just get it out of your road, and then vance up the nose. Take off the top clay layer that we were working in, and then once you get back in this khaki layer, switch to a bigger tool, and we can go through that pretty quickly. Work on taking this spot right here down. You want to keep it as flat as you can. And you go like uh, across it. That way we're not just getting a bunch of grooves in the sediment. If we went back to the time when these dinosaurs lived, we would see completely different plants, completely different animals. So these kinds of sites and these kinds of excavations give us a chance to collect that data. We can look at the environment, look at uh, who is here, and uh, try and reconstruct Oklahoma's past.